What is what is happening? Huh? What's yeah, up? it's a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, we're me and Nick are recording in the same room because we have a stream today. No, I'm not confused about you. Oh. I'm confused about Gavin. Is Gavin? Oh, he's early. Oh, hey, Gavin. Eight fifty-six. Whoa, Gavin's here. What? I know. Wait, hang on. What? Yeah, everyone, get rolling. Roll, roll, What's roll. happening? I'm rolling. Are you here for pleasantries or are you here for the podcast, Gavin? Pleasantries. Oh, I, oh my God. I, this is the happiest. I'm so, I'm so thrilled. This is fantastic. I've missed you so much over the last week, and I'm so excited that we're doing pleasantries. Are you telling me that uh, 195 episodes in, <laughs> you've shown up for pleasantries? Uh, I think I've done it before. Uh, I think you've done it at least once. Yeah, well, welcome back. Cheers. Cheers. In multiple ways. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, what is happening? Sorry, I'm, I'm really thrown off of Gavin being here early. Yeah, you are. I you're really, really, really. back in a minute. Man, I, I don't, don't Hello, <laughs> and welcome to another episode of the F*** Face Podcast. This is episode 195. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Patton and Gavin Free. And I, things are in disarray here in F*** Face Land because... G Gavin Free surprise. Gavin, what did you do today? Well, I'm, I'm here f uh, four minutes early. I mean, now it's 11, <laughs> but I came for some pleasantries, but sort of derailed all the pleasantries with people asking me why I was here for pleasantries. So all I experienced <laughs> yeah. was a mild interrogation and some slight excitement from Andrew. <laughs> First of all, large excitement. The problem is I typically finalize my notes in the time before you show up because when oh. you show up, the show starts, but you were here actually before I was. So I was like, oh my God, Gavin's here. What's happening? And then I'm trying to secure my notes. So you've gone into panic immediately. I immediately, first it was excitement. I guess it was concern actually was the first thing when I saw you in here. <laughs> then it was excitement when I joined and now we're in the panic stage of trying to make sure all my notes are up to date and I got my, my photos ready because I got some games for you guys. Oh. Dude, you got games. You've also got, uh, I hope, a dental update. I have. Oh, I do. I, I, I took a t I time traveled back to 2022 for a little bit. I wouldn't mind talking about that. <laughs> um, wow. I think we both have done time traveling. I did th two definitely dumb things and one potentially dumb thing that might be cool. And then I have some random bullshit. But uh, what do you got going on? Oh, it's loaded. Can you believe that the audience wasn't that on board with my anus tongue? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you always hear in the creative industry that they do market research and like the audience reacts to the things don't. Indicate. That might be my biggest flop. Yeah. To date. Yeah, that's that's like the one time where you can rely on the data of like, no, this is we shouldn't have done this. this you know, I've taken idea. the feedback on and I've decided it's not a good idea. To be fair to you, you said that you switched like 20 seconds into that pitch, but realized you were kind of stuck. I yeah. mean, the more I imagined it visually, the, the more horrific it got in my brain. Yeah, I mean, even as just like a Pokemon, that'd be horrendous. Sometimes your mouth just has ideas faster than your brain can parse through, you know? <laughs> I have that problem too. Mouth ideas. <laughs> yeah, where you're just like you're just like saying words and your brain hasn't caught up to like it's like your mouth is moving independently of your thoughts and your brain and you're like, whoa, 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 what are you saying? What are you hold on a second? I haven't looked at any of this yet. Why how did this get out? You know? I think a plaque called mouth ideas should hang above the door to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a category for a podcast award. Best mouth ideas. <laughs> Show with best mouth thoughts. Oh, man, we have been up to a lot, too. We've done a lot of, like, weird recordings since we all last got together and did a podcast. It's, uh, man, it's been, it's, it's such an exciting time. Uh, I don't it know about been. you guys, but Andrew and I were talking earlier today about how this year has just already flown by. It's almost 2025. Crazy. I know, I know. Unbelievable. Millie's about to graduate from med school and get married. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to begin on my stuff. I've got a game for us to play. I got dental. Maybe I'll go into dental. Let's go okay. with the dental. Yeah, I got, I've had die in to hear about your root canals. I've had two root canals since the last time we recorded this podcast. Um, so the first one I decided, and maybe this is foolish. I was, I was pretty nervous, to be honest, because I listened to three years of Jeff's horror stories of endless <laughs> encounters uh, and I hadn't yeah. been to the dentist prior to this in like a decade or a little bit more than a day. It's been a while. So I had, I had work that needed to be done. Um, so I booked my haircut <laughs> to be right before. 
which I figured would would calm things out. Highly recommend uh, Johnny. He listens to podcasts sometimes. My barber, great shop. Check out Johnny's barbershop. Then <laughs> went to you have straight <laughs> hair rules. What? Uh, my hair was just really long and it had been oh. bothering me. <laughs> There's a dress code at the dentist, <laughs> <laughs> and I just figured. It's like getting a tattoo in England. <laughs> I just started knocking it out all at once. Yeah, it's a dress code situation. So I did that, but it also just, did, I don't know. It allowed me to focus on something else that day other than just that I had a root canal, which yeah. I was stressed about because of Jeff's experience. <laughs> I'm imagining so, it like, like Tom Hanks at the end of Castaway, where he's all like tidied <laughs> up again. Like you just reemerge. I have, yeah. Escaping the cave. Uh, finding my own front door, which is a difficulty even for me, uh, to, to enter the wild again. That um, should be the name of your autobiography someday. Finding the front door. The Andrew <laughs> Payton story. A self-help book. The it real Raymond like Somer. Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, um, so I went and I was told the process and, uh, I got numbed. I remember Jeff's suggestion of, uh, saying that, uh, if they ask like, Hey, do you, do you need more numbing agent? Always say yes. Well, it didn't come up that way. It was a thing where, like, if I felt anything, I just would let them know. Mm -hmm. I was terrified in the chair, leaning back. Also, very difficult because of my long back situation. I had to be at quite the angle to get down because of my height <laughs> and for them to get good, good access on this. Did they bring out one, one of those, like, extension boards for Christmas, <laughs> the dining room table at Christmas? Listen, they, <laughs> they didn't pull out the board, but they did pull out the neck pillow because I was, it was like a, an amusement ride for the angle I needed to be downward. Oh my god! Uh, so I'm and I'm in the position. I'm terrified, and then it was the easiest medical procedure I've ever had in my life. It was what fantastic. Did they give you nitrous or anything? No. Okay. They gave me like a little. They swabbed me, and mm -hmm. then I got like a little injector thing, and then you uh, need a shot. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Listen, I'm not a doctor. I don't. How know many nitrous. shots did they give you? I think only one. Uh, I believe Jesus it was just Christ. one at the on. top of the palate. I want to say. Christ. So then, then I just laid out. It was very comfortable. I couldn't really feel a thing. I had a what? panic attack in the beginning. In the first like 40 seconds, because you got like the dental thing in your mouth. Like you have a sheet essentially in your mouth to, to, to separate the tooth that needs work done. And I had a, uh, a mouth block. I don't know if you had one of those, Jeff, or like. Mm. It's like a parking or like a doorstop for your mouth to just keep it open. Mm -hmm. And so like first 40 seconds in, I got all these things in my mouth. I got fingers in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It was a definite like, oh, my God, anxiety, panic. But then I was all good to the point where and, and I felt bad. I texted Eric like I felt bad explaining this experience. There is a point at which I fell asleep in the chair after they they did like the scans because like they put the like picks in your tooth mm -hmm. and then they x-ray it. And then once we, we went through that process, I didn't, I don't think I had anything in it. I had my mouth block in. I was just laying down. I was so cozy. I fell asleep for like two minutes. I definitely <laughs> drifted off. This is, well, first off, this is the experience I was hoping you would have. This is the experience I, I wanted you to have. However, before you go any further, I know you had two root canals. So I, yep. I refuse to believe the second yep. one went this well. <laughs> but yeah. I, so. I want to hear the rest of this story. And that was essentially, it was just so smooth. I was like, that was so easy. I was, after everything you had said, Jeff, I was like, this is no problem at all. <laughs> Book me in to the next root canal as soon as possible. This is fantastic. I love, these are, it's almost like a getaway. It's a little nap time. I'm scheduling out a nap time for myself. Can't get enough the of these. <laughs> Can't get enough. Give me another. And so but the, the thing is, the one that I was, the second one I did, I've had an abscess in my tooth for like a year at this point. Yeah. And uh, it, it was, it's bad. Like it was a bad situation. I knew it'd be the worst one. What, what is an abscess? Just like a big hunk of pus? Like what's going on with it? No, so it started with like a small hole and then I'd have to use a toothpick to shovel out food that got oh. in the hole. From inside the and tooth then, hole? Yeah, inside the tooth hole. <laughs> I would have gone straight from the toothpick to the emergency room if that were me. <laughs> Well, I just it's I didn't have dental insurance and yeah, I have other yeah. responsibilities. So it's yeah. like and, and I was paranoid because I hadn't been to the dentist in so long at that point, And I didn't necessarily have the greatest full experience in, with dentists in the past. Mm. So it was a whole hurdle. I love my dentist now. So I think I'll be on top of going forward. But I had that. And so I would just scoop stuff out and used yeah. a numbing agent for like a month to cover the pain. And that worked for a while. Then eventually just the back of the tooth fell off. 
And that that was an inconvenience. And then it's been that way for like seven months of just having this giant and having the shovel. And it's been a nightmare. Seven months. Yeah, I just have been making it through. But I knew I knew it would be bad. But I had such a good first experience that I went in like, ah, I'm sure everything will be fine. And this is where I had, I think, the Jeff experience, the other end of the spectrum. The first root canal took about 65 minutes, I would say. Mm hmm. Uh, and it was, it was very relaxing. Yeah. Second one was a little over two and a half hours. Um, oh it was a lot of drilling. It was yeah. a lot of, um, I guess, like the the decay had gotten so far into the tooth and or gum area that like they had to go deep and then they couldn't get my gum to stop bleeding mm -hmm. in that area. It was a, an absolute uh, nightmare. It was not nearly as fun. It was everything you described. I had... I think three shots, Jeff, for numbing on that one. Mm -hmm. And like a little toothpick thing. That was that was fun to start. Like it was a little stick with numbing agent on it that just mm -hmm. was like, put this in your mouth. Uh, went through all that, felt terrible, was not feeling good. Then learned at the end that I thought I was done. Mm -hmm. the, the saga continues. James Bond will be back at the end of the movie. <laughs> I have one more root canal. But apparently it is like the least of the three that I had. It is a very minor. It's like I had an infection and it just re reached the root. So I, it's, it's like something I have to do. But so, so I have one more for next week. So the oh, one wow. the one you did, the second one, the bad one, it, it took two and a half hours. It's done, though. It is completely done. It is done. fully done. Are you pain free? I'll need free? a crown on it. I'm pain free. I'm having to learn how to chew again. Yeah. Uh, which is something I didn't anticipate because I'm so used to n there just being nothing essentially when I bite down in that side. So it's been a, a little bit of a weird process of adjusting. So you have a temporary crown right now and then you'll have to go back in and get fitted for a full one? I just have a filling at the moment. I, need okay. to, I don't have any yeah. crown situation. But yeah, I'll need to go in and get a crown for that. But I got one more root canal. So I'm hoping that I'm glad I've gone in the order I did because if I mm. went the second one first, it definitely... The stress would have been real going in yeah. for what yeah. the first one would have been. <laughs> so I'm hoping for round three, it's more like round one. Why, so why don't they just tackle them all at once? Is it like a, a, Fuck you, a time dude. thing? Is it like a it's pain a, thing? It's a cost and pain thing. <laughs> He'll die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. I will be honest. I After the second one, I came home and I don't know because it was like you have no point of reference, but they were like, oh, so this is a lot of blood. <laughs> we can't... Uh, we can't get the blood to stop. It's just it keeps oh. bleeding. And uh, <laughs> when I got home, I felt lightheaded like I had lost blood, which I don't know. Like maybe it was just the angle once again for being there so long. But like I was I was out of it. I was gone after that root canal for a few hours. It's it's exhausting to be frozen in an uncomfortable position for hours while people are stressed out on top of you trying to fix something in you. Like it yes. just like it saps your it saps you mentally and emotionally and physically after a while. It absolutely does. It was a weird thing where I was trying to like text or write messages and I couldn't think of the words I wanted to say. Oh. Like I was emotionally just uh, and physically out I, of it. I did some I did some I did some bench crying after a couple of my root canals out in the park. Really? Yeah. It's just like because you just feel like. I, I mean, I just felt hollow after him and just like, you know, just worn out in like every different way all at once. But mostly like emotionally from having to go through it. You know, it's like it sucks. Yeah. No, it's not fun. But I, thankfully, I, I only have one more. I thought the panic in my voice where the dentist was like, yes, yeah, so no, now we just have one more. And I was like, well, well I thought I just had two. Yeah. I, where, where, and they like pulled up my dental records. We're like, no, unfortunately, like I can see in the X-ray. Yeah. So they can always see in that fucking x-ray, can't they? It's yeah, they, you can't hide nothing from that x-ray. It's some bullshit. You're going to have such a brand new mouth now after this. I already feel like I do because I had a chip tooth. The first one was a chip tooth on the left side of my mouth. And then I had the abscess on the right. So eating for like the past, I don't know, two and a half months has been a disaster. It feels <laughs> weird to just eat without issue. I've seen that classic picture of you, the one we stick on all the all the stuff like the balaclava. Uh -huh. So many times. I can't actually remember what your teeth look like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your... That's such a specific thing to remember. I don't think I know what anyone's teeth look like off the top of my head. That's not you don't a have thing good I teeth register. memory? No. I don't I think about that at all. I have no idea what your teeth look like, Gavin. And now that I think about it, I don't want to know. 
<laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a really. Yeah, British. <laughs> Nick said tooth blindness. Yeah, I have teeth blindness. So. Yeah, I, I also have teeth blindness. Feet and mouths, I don't want to see. No. If someone said, draw an image of Jeff without seeing a photo of him, and the only thing nailed was the teeth, I would be freaked out by that person. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to draw a picture of any of you, it would just be a flat line across where a mouth would be, so your mouth is closed, or a big black <laughs> circle, and you would just assume there's teeth in there. We should just Photoshop our teeth onto Ian's and see if we can oh, guess no. who <laughs> Do you think, as, <laughs> as sort of an aside, do you think we'll ever see the front of Ian's face? Do you think we'll ever um, get slowly lowered perspectives? I, I assume we need a drone or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of drones. Well, that should be the top of our blimp. <gasps> Ian's face? Oh. It, the, the blimp should be Ian. And the top, <laughs> the bit that no one ever sees, will be the only way you can see oh. Ian's face. And if you want to That's, see it, you have to fly a oh. drone over our blimp. That's great. <laughs> what were you going to say about drones, Jeff? Sorry. Oh, it was going to segue into another story. We don't have to get into it right now, but I was going to say I, uh, I've been I've been warming up to the idea of drones, and oh. uh, I think I think I might want to get one. I think I want to fuck around with a drone. I think I would like it because I've I've been doing another remote control thing lately that I've been really enjoying. Um, I I, I uh, so we recorded some let's plays yesterday. And I had to do, I had to be somewhere at 9 a.m. And then we were going to record Let's Plays at noon. And so I had like a window of about three hours. And I thought, oh, this would be a perfect time to squeeze a bike ride in because the weather in Austin is now fucking awesome. It's 75 degrees every day. And so it's time to start hitting the streets again, getting back into shape, right? And so I, uh, I grabbed my, so I've, I've been going like every day. And so yesterday I grabbed my bike like I normally do. And I thought, I have, Three hours is plenty of time to get a good long ride in. I might actually take like a do like a thirty mile ride instead of my normal twenty four mile ride, and uh, and I got going and got about twelve miles away from my house, so right around halfway, and my bike died. Oh. <laughs> and I looked at it and it just said engine off alert engine off. It didn't say the batteries were dead anything, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> And so I was looking at it, and I was like, man, this is a 2022 problem all over again. <laughs> and, uh, and I realized I, 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 I never, from the moment I took my bike out and drove all the way to where I was, I never looked at my screen to see, like, my battery level or how fast I was going. Like, I couldn't mm. go back and think of one sec, because if I had, I would have seen if there was a problem, <laughs> or I would have known, like, oh, I'm only at 10% battery for some reason or whatever. I just never looked at that screen the entire time. But I was about 12 miles away from home, and so I had to get home for the fucking Let's Play recording. <laughs> and so I had to ride this thing home. <clears throat> a dead e-bike is not a bike. I, uh, I've explained that in the past with the old e-bike I had. This thing is way, way, way better than that bike. And it is actually, you can ride it as a bike. But you realize pretty quickly, I, I did some, I did some uh, Googling after I got home. Average bike weighs about 18 pounds, 18 to 22 pounds. My bike weighs like 54 pounds. <laughs> and it's carbon fiber. So I had to ride. So it's like carbon fiber to make it even lighter, right? But it's still 54 pounds. So I had to ride a 54 pound bicycle 12 miles home yesterday morning. <laughs> that might be the most exhausted I've been in my entire life. I made it all the fucking way home. And I made it home with 20 minutes to spare to sit down and do the Let's Play recording. But holy shit, I have never, I hit, mu I hit muscle failure for the first time since the army, I think, where I just had to stop for two minutes and just recover wow. before I could get back on my bike. It was the most effort I've ever put into. It was, I, I, mean, I tried to make it fun. I tried to make it as enjoyable as possible. But God damn, dude, it was that. And the whole time I was riding home, I was thinking, how am I doing this in 2024? How, and is my bike broken? Do, is the battery dead? Is my bike broken? So when I got home, I realized I had unplug the brick from the cable somehow and so, so it just wasn't, wasn't charged. charged but i also realized i rode a bicycle 12 miles without ever looking at it <laughs> so did you throw up because you were working out no i didn't throw up i didn't throw up wow. oh, okay I, I was actually pretty excited about that um but uh but i was pretty mad at myself that i rode a bike for 12 miles without ever looking at it because if i had i would have seen instantly that i didn't have any battery <laughs> <laughs> 
is it maybe the most angry you've ever been? Because you you love the electric bike. It gives you a little boost, a little bit of a zoom to your, to your ride. If you had just a normal bike, this isn't a problem. Was the 50 mile or 50 pound, 12 mile, whatever endeavor worth all the convenience of the other trips? Absolutely. 100%. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because I would be so fucking mad that I can't use my bike to bike because the engine doesn't work. It's so much. I mean, I did use it. I got drove it all the way home. It's just heavy. It's not as fun, right? It's it's harder to go uphill. It's, but it's just twice the weight or two and a half Such times an weight. avoidable problem. Well, if I was bike. mad at anybody in that situation, like with the old e-bike, I would be mad at the e-bike because it was a hunk of shit and, you know, batteries <laughs> were exploding on, while I'm riding it and stuff. <laughs> this one, I was 99% sure I was the problem. And I was I confirmed see. right. And so I, it would be dumb to be mad at the bike because my, my like, I was in such a hurry to get on the bike and go have fun <laughs> that I never looked at it. Right. Like I just yeah. like I just grabbed it and assumed everything worked properly, which is so fucking stupid. So like any ire I had was only pointed inward and I didn't feel like being in a shitty mood yesterday. So I just decided to be happy about it and try to make it a challenge and have fun with it and like enjoy it as best I could. And I did. Yesterday was so hot, though. It started to get pretty hot toward the end there. Yeah. Uh, that last like two miles was pretty fucking hard. Um. <laughs> And but I was saying the whole time I was on the bike, all I was thinking about is how I'm. I, this is a 2022 problem in 2024, and I'm also going to go home and clean up dog shit in the backyard for 15 minutes and realize <laughs> that I'm just I'm constantly surrounded by dog shit on my body at all times now, and it's just like wow, it's it's just a fucking back there, right in the middle of it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I have a game for you guys to play. Oh, I've been I'm so excited. Uh, I've been in the lab. Uh, a lab maybe strong word. Gavin asked a very specific question on a recent episode of how long does it take to fill your bathtub? And I, I wanted to, as soon as we finished, I immediately I went in, but I didn't want to stop there. I thought, how could I make this a little bit of a game? So I have done three different things since we last recorded and I timed the three things I have while sitting in the bath, filled the tub to the line. Oh, you've got I have, data today chugged a soda like you guys did using our face crazy <laughs> straw thing and i added a hundred words to the twenty thousand word list i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> type in three times into our chat just give me a second copy and paste this uh and you have to guess between between all of you which time represents <laughs> what act this is great <laughs> So I'm putting it in. The first one is 4.15. The second one, I believe, is almost seven minutes. And the third one is a little over 11 minutes. I'm struggling to get to our server on my phone. Great. I should have prepared. Yep. Yeah. Where is it? I like we went through all that bath stuff, too. Uh, kind of to see what Gracie's tub would fill in. And we never <laughs> we didn't her. find out. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, you guys are seeing the real Gracie start to pop up here. This is really good. This is, this is good. How much time do you need, Andrew? I, I posted it. It's right here. Oh, you, okay. We got the times. It's 4 minutes 15, 6 minutes 49, 11 minutes 26. One of these is soda chug. One of these is a bath fill. One of these is adding 100 words to the list. This is a great game. I wonder if the longest one is the chug <laughs> it's yes. gotta be the hundred things right the long one i i think the hundred things is four minutes me too the soda chug is 11 minutes uh and the bathtub is six minutes we know his bathtub fills around six or seven minutes you think he's done a hundred things in four minutes how hard is it to write down yeah i don't gavin are you Andrew? serious <laughs> if it's you gotta factor if, in the person if 100 things is the 11 minutes one i don't have a lot of confidence that we're ever getting a full list <laughs> that that can't be possible it has to be the shortest one it has to it has to I, and what's tub the the seven minutes i would think tub would be seven minutes yeah how how many how long do you uh, hold on a second uh uh, just a second. I'm gonna, banana. That takes like what two seconds to write down a second, <laughs> right? Sixty seconds in a yeah. minute. 
Yeah. 30. Yeah, but he's not writing Banada. He's writing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Right. right so right, But that? how long Ten did those seconds? two things just take you? <laughs> so that's six, you gotta, maybe, you gotta, minimum you six a minute. So, so let you me ask. You gotta think of can, typing time. Can I get. You gotta think. Can I ask about specifics of the soda chug? You can ask whatever you want. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> Why was that a crazy response? <laughs> Ask away. So this was the soda chug. It was a single soda, a single can of soda. A single can, a, a regulation can of soda. Okay. What kind of soda? Coca-Cola. Okay. okay. And you used the silly straw for this? I, I used our silly straw for this. Okay. Yes. That's, so that's the 11 minutes. <laughs> uh, by the way, have you guys seen that Supreme has ripped this off? No way. Did they really? They're selling, they sell, they just announced and launched Supreme Silly Straws that spell out Supreme. Oh, wow. No. Well, it doesn't, they're not ripping us off, clearly. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, that's not, but, I mean, uh, but I'll be but mad with you. But that just goes to want. show that we're just that yep. far ahead of the curve. Well, we're cutting edge. We're like a um, month ahead of the curve. Yeah. We cut the edge that other people ride. Gavin, do you have Speaking any thoughts? Speaking of curves, that's a, that's a rough straw. That, <laughs> it is. <laughs> you have any thoughts on the times, Gavin? What do you think? Well, I don't know. I, I still don't entirely understand the geography of his tub. Uh, so also it, in it. Well, well in the tub. So it's going to be a short fill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Due to Andrew's mass uh, displacing the water. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, maybe his... What if he had a four-minute tub with him in it? That's crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Four-minute tub. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Well, with him in it, you so wait, you were in the tub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tub was empty. I sat in it. Then I turned on the water to what I would typically okay, do. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I'm, I'm flipping it. I think the tub is the four-minute one, and the thousand things is the six-minute one. But wow. you just fill it to an arbitrary amount, though. You didn't fill it to the, the overflow. I filled it to the overflow. Oh. oh. That was the measurement I felt that we set. We know it took less than eight minutes to fill up. And he's in it. So it's going to, let's say, I don't know, <laughs> half the time? It would take yeah, is Andrew up? half a tub's worth? <laughs> <laughs> I will say, to, to paint a picture of this tub measurement happening, I, I tub in the dark, which was a problem for this. <laughs> so I had to turn the flashlight on my phone and try to, it was a real <laughs> difficult thing to assess when the water hit exactly, but I think I nailed it. You wouldn't just turn the light on? Not well, because I'm then going to have a bath and I don't like how bright the light is. It's a very, it's, it's a piercingly <laughs> sharp <Jesus Christ>. light. <laughs> have, you ever, have you considered uh, sunglasses for the bath? Uh, no, I, I have those for shitting only. I, I feel like I would be worried I can mix up my shades if I were to do that. <laughs> Tub shades and shit shades. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to cross those. Those are very different experiences. I sound. Uh, this is. I feel like you guys have said a lot, but have not come to much of a consensus. I feel like. Okay, I can give my it. final my final picks. I think. Let's hear your final. Okay, picks. let's hear your final picks, and I'll tell you if they're right or wrong. Four fifteen, tub six forty nine, chug eleven twenty six things. Wow. Disagree. Wow. Disagree. I don't think. I don't think the eleven. I don't think eleven twenty six is the is the things. I don't think so. I think it's 415 tub, 649 uh, is clearly the 100, uh, the 100 things, and then 1126 is the chug. I'm going to go 415 is the 100 things, and yep. the tub is 649, yep. and 1126 mm. is the chug. Yep. Nick's uh, the same. Nick agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will say one of you got all three correct. <gasps> oh. Okay, Only well, so, okay, so it's uh, not yeah. me and Nick who were the two guys who agreed on it, so that's good. Yep. It is... Gavin is correct hey! with a four minute fifteen tub fill, a six forty nine soda chug, and an eleven twenty six hundred word edition. Okay, to my wow, that's like, I would. Yeah, I don't think you could torture this information out of me. It, it took me twelve <laughs> solid minutes to name one hundred things. First of all, there's an, a list of things, and you're forgetting the type time. There's some other factors. You want to spice up the list a little bit. I think I put too much thought into my things. Yeah, 1126, man. I agree. Clearly. I find it harder to believe you chug that soda in I, six minutes. I agree with that. One of the worst experiences of my life <laughs> in consuming any beverage. I almost died, and it took me like 11 minutes. Yep. I didn't 
I did, the straw never left my mouth. I was chugging as fast as I could. I was sucking away. <laughs> I was trying to find different angles. Uh, you can't really tell how much soda is left in the can while you're doing it, which is demoralizing. It's uh, it's also wild because you'll drink an entire soda and at the end of it, you don't feel like you drank anything but air. Yes. <laughs> it's like you never yeah, actually got the soda in. <laughs> yes. It feels like you're somehow only absorbing <laughs> CO2 from the can. Yeah. Like it's the liquid or like it's separating the syrup from the water somehow because of how tight it is. It is this, a very strange. I mean, it's probably experience. like pushing against the vapor pressure because it's so, there's so much, it's so tight. I wonder Nick. if it's just actually separating the stuff out. Do you see what Nick wrote? Chugging that he no wonder it took eleven minutes for that thing. He killed so many brain cells. So He's right because I did do it in the sequence in which I posted. It was tub first, then chug, then hundred things. It is interesting that you get no enjoyment from it. It's like if you had like a really high quality, nice bite of sushi, but you had to eat it in like two hundred and fifty pieces. You just wouldn't enjoy. <laughs> any of it. it doesn't like the enjoyment doesn't stack in that way you can have sushi but you have to eat the rice one piece at a time <laughs> yeah one grain <laughs> yeah this show is sponsored by better help no matter what the relationship is uh if it's a healthy one it's a positive one odds are it's gone through some rough patches or there has been some amount of conflict within that relationship it's just how things go people are messy emotions are difficult it's a whole thing, but something that I have found with therapy is that it is a process that has allowed me to approach things differently as well as uh, just being able to maybe understand perspectives I would have never been able to reach myself. I mean, it's important to have healthy relationships that a person at least meets you halfway, but there are times where when establishing those relationships that you're really proud of, it requires effort and care and just understanding of sometimes things you may not even be aware that you're doing. Uh, I know for me personally, I would recommend therapy to anyone. It's something that has had a tremendous impact on my life. Uh, I just think it's a super healthy process to go through. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash face today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Today, we're here to talk about Shady Rays. They are an independent sunglasses brand that has over 250,000 five-star reviews, and they're on a mission to match affordability with durability making top quality shades accessible to everyone. They have tons of styles and colors to pick from, so finding the perfect polarized shades is a breeze. I personally really like the Color Rush, so if you're looking for an upgrade, we would recommend their premium Color Rush lenses crafted with rare earth materials. These lenses bring high impact color to life, elevating reds, blues, and greens. Uh, every person I know that's had Shady Rays absolutely loves them. They're a fantastic product. They look cool. Uh, there's so many styles to pick from, so even if there's one that doesn't necessarily connect with you, they will have something for you. Uh, I, it's just a, a great company that I highly recommend. So, so please check out Shady Rays, as well as because of the fact that they have fantastic lost and broke protection. If your shades go MIA or take a hit, don't sweat it. They've got lost and broken protection, so you're covered from day one, plus they have free shipping and returns. So if you don't love your shades, exchange and return them for free within 30 days there's no risk when you shop exclusively for our listeners shady rays is giving out their best deal head to shadyrays.com and use code face for 35 percent off polarized sunglasses and snow goggles try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people the best way to learn a language immersion living where the language is spoken and using it every day but if that's not in the cards this year, you can still learn a language the second best way, and that's with Babbel. Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are handcrafted by over 200 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. 
Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching, so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. Now, what I love about Babbel is how convenient the courses are and how they help you learn real-life conversation skills. It's helpful, it's useful things, so let's say if you're traveling somewhere, uh, you can order food, get directions, all without having to consult like an app of any kind, which just sort of breaks the immersion and the absorption of the culture. Babbel has over 16 million subscriptions sold, plus all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. Here's a special limited-time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 50% off a one-time payment for a lifetime Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com face. Get a 50% off at babbel.com slash face, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash face. Rules and restrictions may apply. Oh, that's an awesome game. That was an awesome game, Andrew. I have another game as well that is sort of based off Gavin's idea. If we want to talk about what I you, Jeff, as well. Some creation. Uh, you, bro- you broke up. You're on breaking there. up. I, this I, is I 2022. You said. Yeah. <laughs> Am I... Oh, Whoa. oh God! Oh, what, no. what year did he print the law? The law. Oh, is the no. law being printed? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he said, "Is the lobby?" Wait pinned. a sec! Wait! Wait! Oh no! Uh, Why is it flickering? We suck. <laughs> <laughs> we suck at podcasts. <laughs> uh, I think I'm back. No. Oh no, are we in season 2022? <laughs> Everything it's all the same the shit again, but it's all just slightly Wait. different. Andrew's the one getting the root canals. <laughs> I, is it Are we in the law mode now? Am I back? Oh, I oh, no. I oh. no. Oh no. Oh, this is officially season t- 2022. Yeah. Oh no. That's our new era. <laughs> Old problems. Hell. Oh, I don't want some of them again. <laughs> Wait. I I, I, I think it might be back. Oh. And now, <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> while Andrew's, well, I could fill it with like a quick two minute story if you want. Go for it. Uh, the other day, so we've been taking the, the puppy to doggy daycare because it needs to get socialized with other dogs. That was the only problem with Henry was that he, he just didn't like other dogs. Right. And so you got to be really careful with that with bulldogs. And so we took him to a new place, not the place Henry and Arrow used to go to just because it was kind of far away. So we decided to try this new place because it's kind of close, and it was okay. It was going whatever. I was a little ambivalent toward the people. The other day, I go in at like 5 p.m. to get the dog, and I walk in, and they go, I'm here, I'm here to pick up Albert, and she goes, oh, the English, the French bulldog? And I go, no, no, he's an English bulldog. He's a little English bulldog puppy. And she goes, oh, right, I'm sorry, Albert, the English bulldog. Uh, she looks to the guy next to her. Uh, and he goes, she goes, hey, can you uh, can you go get Albert, the English bulldog? And he looks at her and he goes, huh? And she goes, get the, the little English bulldog puppy. And he goes, oh, French bulldog. Uh. And she goes, no, 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 English bulldog. And he goes, oh, English bulldog. Uh. And then he can, goes can in. I stop you? Can I stop you right there? <laughs> is yeah. this really happening? Is the, is the dog called Albert? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just tell me the name of the dog? <laughs> yeah, so the dog's name is Albert. I fucked that up. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I just, I, it's, it was bound to happen. I, I just want to tell you. said it like six times. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like it did. I knew it was going to happen and I was going to be the one to do it. Anyway, so it was like, she's like, no, Albert, the dog, go get him. And uh, the guy's like, oh, you go. And he goes away for like 10 minutes. And then other people come in and ask for their dogs and go. And I'm still sitting there. And then after like 10 or 11 minutes, like two people have come in and got their dogs and gone. And I'm like, uh, and I'm sitting there fucking waiting. And he goes, uh, and don't worry, you guys can make fun of me and stuff after this for the, for saying the dog's name. I just, this is a good story. I want to get it out. And, uh, and he comes back in, in my dog's, my dog has like a Boston Celtics harness, obviously, because he's a fucking good boy. And he, there's a geriatric old French bulldog swimming in my dog's harness. It's three times the size of this dog. And he tries to hand me this 90 year old French bulldog. And he goes, oh, uh, and I go, that's not my fucking dog. And he goes, what? And I go, that's not my fucking dog. That's a French bulldog. And he goes, huh? And she goes, yeah, that's the French bulldog. And he goes back again, and he's gone for another 10 minutes. And I think my dog is gone. Like, they've sold him on the black market or something. <laughs> and, uh, and, <laughs> and fucking 
two more people come in and get seen and leave. And then eventually he brings my dog out. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm definitely never coming back here again. So I put my phone in my pocket. I stand up. I take the dog. I go out the front door. I open the front door. Dog runs out. My phone falls out of my pocket. And so he's out the door. My phone's in the door. I bend down to pick my phone up. The door hits me in the face, knocks my head, my sunglasses behind me back in the door. My hat out the front of the door and so I've got like sunglasses and a phone on the ground inside the dog and my hat outside the dog's pulling me outside the door slammed in me I'm trapped between the door I'm scr- scrambling around I'm like Ugh. I'm fucking dazed Gonna because I got hit in the face. face with the door I'm like Ugh. and I'm trying to pick stuff up and the two fucking employees who are working there are just laughing at me the entire time and I eventually get it all up and throw it in the car and then I was I'm never going back to that place again <laughs> Also, I completely fucked up and told you the dog's name. But I'm so glad I did. I I'm so fucking glad I did because it was so annoying to try to keep it hidden. And I was so bad at it. And I kept saying it in front of people. And so I'd rather just have it out there in the world. The dog's name's Albert Einstein Hatfield. Or Albert Brooks. I'm sorry. The dog's name's Albert Brooks. Wait, what? <laughs> Albert Einstein Brooks. That's Albert Brooks's full name is Albert Real Einstein name. Brooks. Yeah. We, named the, we named the dog Albert Brooks after Albert Brooks. Do I still sound like shit? No, you're fine no. now. No, you're fine. Um, okay. That was insane. I can't, I didn't know what was happening for a second there. Why would they laugh at you? Because they they're, suck. They're <laughs> shitty employees. They were high and they're like 20, like the fucking burnout people. And they just, they sucked at their dog. They were half alert the whole time. They fucked up <laughs> other people in front of them around me. It's just not a good place. And so I, after that, I was like, we're never, so I took, I, now I take the dog to the, to the old place where we used to go. It's further away. But <laughs> they sucked to that dog. I like, so it sounds like that was like the thundercloud subs of dog places. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, it is. It was like, I mean, I don't want to say that they're all on drugs or whatever, but they were just just out of it. And the fact that they put like you, I don't know how a guy can take a harness for a 35 pound bulldog and try to fit it on an eight, maybe 15 pound French bulldog. <laughs> like it looked it looked like he was walking a runway in like some sort of an outfit supported by wires. You know what I mean? Like he was in it, it was fucking bizarre. Oh, I can't disaster. believe I learned the dog name. I'm glad that when my audio is fucking up, I could still hear you crystal clear, or else I would have once again missed that the dog been name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh. I guessed Prince Albert at one point. That uh, sounds right. I don't think you did, because oh. I would have told you. Um, <laughs> if, speaking of other dumb things I've done, uh, today I, I did. I didn't charge my bike. I, uh, I, was, I f- let a door hit me in the face. I told you the <laughs> dog's name. Also, Emily walked in the other night while I was watching the All-Star game. And she goes, why are you watching that? And I go, what do you mean? It's the All-Star game. She goes, no, you're watching that weird feed. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm watching the All-Star game. And she goes, you're watching, it says it right there in front of you, Altcast. You're not watching the fucking All-Star game. You're watching the alternative feed. And I realized she was right. I watched three quarters of the All-Star game on the wrong feed. You, what, you what does watched the other the, feed do? The, it's Charles Barkley and Draymond Green? It was Draymond Green yeah. and uh, like, I don't know, Charles Barkley talking and then they would like bring people in and talk to them and they were be they were like pipped in around and then like the screen was minimized and I was just like, I guess that's how they do it now. It's <laughs> fucking annoying. I'm not enjoying this <laughs> at all. And then I switched to the full all-star game and it was just as bad. And so I turned it off. But yeah, I'm, I get 2024. I'm getting real dumb, real fast. <laughs> so you also accidentally told people recently, right? At the Super Bowl party, I told I said his name twice in 10 minutes in front of everybody. <laughs> Eric heard it. Nick didn't. <laughs> no. So Nick, Nick didn't in- know until today? Yes. Oh, that is correct. You and Nick you and Nick and uh, the other one, Andrew, heard today. <laughs> <laughs> what a wow. great day. Yeah. Phenomenal day. It's yeah. so Phenomenal fucking day. hard to talk around the dog's name. I'm so glad. <laughs> I, well, I just it. don't. I mean, you're the one who did this i know dude it's a, i'm the one who does everything to me I'm, I, I'm the enemy i'm the enemy i get that i'm my own worst enemy always since day one 48 almost 49 years into it of course it's me i create all of my own problems the full fucking podcast is called face for a reason it's my life my life has been one jeff facing jeff over and over again in every conceivable possible way why wouldn't it be me <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He brings up some some fair points. It's a that. joy to be around. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> Listen, it's, you have no idea how fucking annoying it is to live with me. <laughs> like you guys live around me 
Oh, and you, but you get breaks. G- G- Gavin, you and I are best friends in the world, but we very rarely <laughs> see each other. Most of your life is peaceful in your house where I'm not around you. When you're with me, you get me in a small dose. It's fine. I have to be around me so much. It's just like there's no escape. I'm always there. I can't ride my bike fast enough to ride away from me. Certainly if I don't charge up my own fucking batteries because I'm a fucking moron. It's like, oh, now I'm, now I'm in a... Ugh, yeah. Anyway, how's there, what's, uh, your audio's fixed? <laughs> Audio is fixed. I don't know what that was. Maybe an internet blip. Uh, <sighs> I have something incredibly sad to show you in, <sighs> in the audience, Jeff. In relation to another game, got game 2.0. I don't remember the specific. This is sort of your idea, Gavin. We're talking last episode about adjusting food orders, like getting some oh, yeah, delivered like and then like it adding to and subtracting and customizing it. Yeah, and I, I couldn't remember if it was like trying to make the best dish or like trying to make the dish that would be the hardest to figure out what it originally started as. There yeah, I think it was that. Variations. Okay, well, I I have that. As soon as we finished, I, I did a lot of research on my, my various apps that I could use to order food. I looked at different stores. I used different material. I'm going to put in the chat the image, the, the thing I made using only the options they gave as far as additions or subtractions. We can then describe the item to the audience and see if you guys can guess what I originally ordered. And it is the saddest piece of food that I've ever seen. I said it to Eric earlier the week. It is depressing. I just I'm a fucking idiot. And I just sent it to myself in a different. Hell yeah. (laughs) Dummy. I'm a dummy. This is a dumb era. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, they would Im- imply that we were ever not in a dumb era. It's always it's just the dumb era. It's always yeah, but we're era. like twenty twenty two stupid again. That's what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a crime, but I know, I know you took the picture because it ha- it's watermarked in the bottom <laughs> left hand corner. Still, I can't tell if all of that stuff in the in the box is grease or just like lens dirt. It's grease, I believe. Okay. So that's ch- cheese and chicken. It is cheese and chicken. It is a, a thing of cheese that is <laughs> largely stuck to the side of the box and the roof of the box. And there is a little a dollop s- of cheese on the top there on the chicken. Oh, a little, a tiny bit. You can tell it was intended to be there, I would say. But um, most of the cheese stuck to the front of the box and, and the roof of the box, sadly. Hmm. Now, are, are we supposed to say what we think it is, or we're just yeah? You guys now have there? to try to figure out what you think it started as. What was the original item that I modified to what that is? We got no thoughts. I'm gonna I re- I really. say it was a <laughs> spicy bacon chicken sandwich, and you held all the vegetables and the bread and the bacon, and you just got the chicken and the cheese. So you think like a chicken burger sandwich? Yeah, like a chicken thing? sandwich kind of thing. Okay. I'm going to guess that was a Caesar salad. <laughs> you think that was a Caesar salad? Mm. <laughs> so, like, I would have added cheese to it because, che- <laughs> like, a block of cheese like that is not common yeah. for. Now, Eric, you know what this is, right? Um, He doesn't know what it is. I don't I know what it is. The point of I did oh, okay. see it previously. I do think, I think it's from KFC. Oh. Uh, Canada KFC. That's my guess. I think. That you tried to get a zinger twister, which I think is like a little burrito thing, and then you said no tortilla, and then also no vegetables, and so what but you were that left with- big hunk of chicken fit in a tortilla? No, but I think that's I think that's well, no, but look at the box too. Oh. It doesn't look like KFC, does it? I can't tell. I can't tell. It definitely doesn't. It could, yeah, it could be like a cheesy chicken wrap. Hold the wrap. Mm-hmm. I'm also <laughs> fully ready for Andrew to be like, this is <laughs> a double Western bacon <laughs> cheeseburger <laughs> and, and made complete substitutions. He, he must have started with something big. Yeah, it's going to start with something that looks like like a double Big Mac <laughs> or something. I, uh, I, I will say to maybe add some additional flavor to this photo. This image was taken with me in the bathtub when I did the four minute 15 time. OK, well, that's definitely that a- additional flavor. That was an efficient bath. Yeah, I got a lot done. It's pretty bold that you took a picture in the bath like this. I don't think I would do that. I got to know. why. So what is it? Well, where's it from to start with? Okay, it's from a local chain Uh called Big Wheel Burger. Okay. 
but it is a, an accessible item. I will say that, I don't want to say that Eric is wrong, but the item he described, it's the first time I've ever heard of that item. I have oh. no idea what that is. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have those okay. at our KFC. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to put in the photo right now what it is. Nobody was close. Yeah. I would say Jeff is technically the closest. OK. This is what it was. It started as a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> hold the cheese. Or hold I the, hold the bread. I, they had an option to hold the bread, which I was I was curious how they would even grill the cheese at that point. <laughs> so you so then hold the bread, fry the chicken. I I, t- I clicked hold the bread, add a chicken breast because I didn't know. I just didn't know what it would come out as if I just said just cheese. I mean, that's pretty close. <laughs> I ordered. Yeah. And it was I was hoping the cheese would be on top of the. Chi- it was delicious. The chicken itself, the cheese, as I said, stuck to the box. So very difficult to enjoy. Were you able oh to drag it back over the chicken or did you just sort of... Uh, I tried. I, I kind of, I did the best I could, but it was it was sort of a lost cause. It was, it was delicious. I have more of these. But can <laughs> I hit this with them? Are they all from the same place? No, I need to... Uh, I haven't, They're from I have different one I did with, hamburger sandwich shops? I had one I did with Jeff that is so innovative that... <laughs> 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 they failed to execute my commands. Jeff, do you want, do you want to show them... What I sent you, and then they have to guess maybe what it is. Yeah. Do you want me to send like upload all the photos that I sent you? Just like the full send gamut? the photo of what the box looked like, the inside of the box that I sent. You. Okay, just this one. So this is what I sent Jeff. This is what I got delivered to my house from Andrew. <laughs> oh my god! I don't oh. want to say yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so to describe it to the people just listening, it is a a box <laughs> of just a a patty in it. A one patty. patty. And it's from McDonald's. It's a McDonald's order. Yeah, I don't recognize the, the platform it's on. Neither did I. I thought that was a weird American thing. I've never seen that for what this item is. Yeah, I, I don't know where the platform came from. It was just like, it just had a clear plastic shell over the top of it. It's, I think it might be a hot cake tray. Yeah, it, could it be, is. It definitely is. I'm going to guess that it's a double cheeseburger and it's just one single uh, patty. Is that what it is? Now, to note, this is, they made it incorrectly. They did not <laughs> listen to my specific <laughs> They made the Andrew was they a made made very, they made very upset <laughs> when I should send him the picture. Because <laughs> Jeff said you should have, and I, I needed to see the photo because it's going to make something around it. What we're looking at uh, is a quarter pounder, <laughs> but... But where it went wrong, as I said, hold everything. I said no, no quarter pound beef, mm-hmm. no bun, no lettuce, or like no sauce, nothing. I I asked for everything to be pulled, and they clearly didn't know what to do, so they just threw in the beef anyway. As you can see in the the receipt, no cheese, plain, no salt, no quarter pound beef, no bun. <laughs> I wonder if you'd have been better off ordering just salt. 64 B O B E 6 E is what it is. <laughs> uh, I I will say when you order it because I'm I'm there now I was putting one together. Uh my idea was to remove everything from the double cheeseburger and then re-add it for extra for double cheeseburger, which makes it a more expensive exact same item. <laughs> It goes, it goes from three ninety nine to five eighty seven when you re add everything. Um, right. W- so you can get just salt, and it will be just the price. Like they would just send you salt, I guess, or throw a free, free patty in just for the hell of it. I guess. I'm gonna send Jeff just salt. We'll have that for next time. We'll do more research on the next episode. I'll send you a salt, just a salt container, as well as uh, one I have in my head that I, I don't think anyone is going to be able to guess. But Yeah, I want to try one next time. I feel like you get more customization at the kiosks than you do on the apps. You definitely do. Yeah, it can be tricky finding because I felt like it was cheating to manually put in special instructions. I felt like I had to use the tools that they had created right. to submit the product. Uh, I will say... 
that my whole idea for this was to to tell Jeff that I sent him a quarter pound air, which is the 2.0 <laughs> of the quarter pounder, um, kind of Emperor's New Clothes burger of sorts. Oh. Uh, so them sending the beef patty really fucked up the idea, the overall image I had of Jeff opening up an empty box to then have to determine uh, what the item was. <laughs> and so I was just curious just to see like what the process would be. So I, I started because it's all automated. You don't have to talk to people. You, you don't have to make like an official submission until the end. I went through the process of what if I tried to get a refund based on. <laughs> so this was the this was what I submitted for, like what I wanted. Uh huh. And then this was my my refund. My issue was I specifically wanted no beef and they included beef, <laughs> a quarter pound of beef. So you're, you're in my a refund for the beef they did send that you didn't yes want. that was yeah if i was making the submission i was just curious what i would be offered in return and if i were to have uh, followed through with my demand of not being met the order i wanted specifically i could have got a sweet dollar 88 <laughs> dang yeah Really, a real savings. <laughs> I don't know how much the quarter. I think it's like a six dollar burger. So like, drop down to to Eric's double cheese essentially for next time. But I'm 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 gonna be back in the lab. I have Dude. one other idea for a place, but it's just it's been difficult, been difficult finding a time in which it's open on the app because it's a new restaurant in my area, and it's sort of I'm excited. I I've meant to check Big Wheel again. When I used to do things to do with Matt, like the greatest honor was to do one of those and then see patch notes related to the thing that we had done. Mm. I'm hoping that I can get them to change a menu item on this app. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I feel like the ultimate goal of this is that they realize, oh, this is fucking, why are we allowing this? Uh, so that I'm going to continue to pursue that dream. Hey, I have a, uh, I have a proposition for y'all. Oh, oh. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, I think it's I think this is the perfect lab for you to be in. I'm very excited to see the next iteration. Um, but here's my, pro my 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 proposition to you guys. I think we should change the way we say something. Y'all know how uh, people say foot long, like f like uh -huh. five dollar foot longs or like a foot long yeah. hot dog. What it, wouldn't it be cooler if instead of saying foot long, we flipped it and we just referred to them as long foots? Oh no, I got a long foot hot dog. <laughs> No, because I just oh. imagine subway Nick's and get a feet. long foot sandwich. I'm just eating Nick's feet. Oh. Yeah, the I the hear words that. are the same. <laughs> well, hang, <laughs> it just sounds now. Hang on. Yeah, but hang long on. Feet. I I understand. I understand your reservation. I get it. Nick was like interested. Andrew's maybe not on board. Let's go to the foot the foot guy. Uh, Gavin, what do you think about this? I'm not foot guy anymore. I'm the weird tongue anus guy. <laughs> 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 well, tongue anus guy. What do you think about? Yeah. Long foot. <laughs> Long the longhorn long foot. Yeah. I like it. I like it too. It feels good to say. It feels a little dirty, but it's yeah. not. It sounds you like know? an animal. Yeah, kind of. And it's like, and, and which got me thinking, because I, in my head, I've already endeavored that I'm going to refer to things as long foot from going forward. I would, I would love it if you guys were along for the ride. Uh, but it got me thinking, I bet there's a lot of words we can transpose like that and completely just like reinvent how cool a word can be. I thought about yeah. just every word that changes the letter when it becomes plural like uh leaf becomes it has a v in it for the plural leaves mm -hmm. i thought what if you had to say the v plural as a singular like you had to talk about your mouth <laughs> <laughs> what what? <laughs> what hang on what Just be a different way of talking <laughs> <laughs> how long till someone called okay. you out on it you just kept saying <laughs> <"Leaf."> <laughs> Instead of leaf, leave. <laughs> I feel like we're entering a pronounce, pr pronounce. <laughs> I like that. It's a great idea. Um, you'll find that on my notes about 200 <laughs> weeks ago as one of them that I just left and thought that's, I'm not, oh, wow. it's not even worth bringing up. But we, we, we came close to it. We came close to it. So I brought it back. Yeah, I appreciated the swing around. 
We should have an era that's just the Gavin's Notes era where we just go through his notes <laughs> and however many episodes it takes to just catch up, to, to get Gavin to zero notes, we have just to do the, it. Oh, like man. the pocket lint of my notes. <laughs> You're talking about changing the names of products, Jeff, and like modifying words and like making them cooler. I had a thought. Let me pull my list up. I won't share everything I've written at this time, but I had a thought of like, let's say that I was the head of approving inventions for the world. Like we're starting up and established products were being presented to me. I was thinking things that I would reject that I wouldn't have at all understood what I was actually rejecting. Just just as a as a title. OK. Um, and the, the number one on my list. Let me, let me look at everything. I have a lot. Uh, hearing aids was number one. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't understand. I just, it seemed <laughs> AIDS by themselves. Terrible. The idea of hearing AIDS, I would not get at all that it was a, a modifier. I would assume it was a medical that we, oh, that, that we had somebody in the camp trying to create a new medical issue. But aren't hearing aids around longer than AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I I'm so. just using my context point. I'm not saying this logic. Sure, makes sure, sense. sure, 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 sure. <laughs> All forms of sweats oh, yeah. as another thing mm. would not get approved. Sweatpants, yeah. sweatshirts. I don't understand it. I don't want it. First of all, any pant would be tough to get approved by me to sneak through the cracks. Right, because you're a shorts guy. When was the last time you covered your shins with fabric? Um, it was when I worked in a warehouse and uh, they got, uh, <laughs> uh, what's, the, what's the term for it? Were they uh, audited? Maybe is that mm -hmm. the word I'm looking for or they had somebody come in and have to like look at the books and like evaluate the standards of the warehouse. And I had to put on sweat. I was told by the, the, the head of the facility <laughs> that I had to wear pants because I, I guess I was supposed to as far as protection goes for safety. That was the last time that would have been uh, the year Destiny one came out. <laughs> so that's the last time I wore pants. Was that like 2013 or something? <laughs> 2014, maybe. Is that why? Like what? <laughs> I think it's 2014. Okay. So I, I left in like the month that Destiny came out is when I stopped. Why'd you leave? Job. I, I was just, it was, it's a tough job. How it's many? Yeah, they make you wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he, the pants was a fucking deal breaker for him. <laughs> uh, he, he, Andrew's like, I'm sorry about the audit, but these pants thing, it's a non-starter. I just don't <laughs> touch fabric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, how many pairs of pants do you think you own i probably still own those great <laughs> you didn't you didn't turn in your pants after no i don't think i gave them in <laughs> but like if you've if you haven't worn pants since 2013 do you even own pants or have you got they're, you're, they're useless to you so you'd get rid of them i probably have them but i may have given them away at some point i don't know they're not in the rotation that's for sure <laughs> Nick said, did you turn them in with your badge and your gun? <laughs> yeah. I think that's the real reason you went at the wedding. <laughs> I did oh. talk about that prior to. I almost made that joke. It didn't. I said that I would be forced to wear pants if I went. Uh. <laughs> I, I, would, I would say no, you wouldn't have. But yeah, you probably would have. Yeah. I, probably I would have absolutely have been, been forced to wear pants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, yeah. When did Destiny come out? 2014, I think. Do you think you could afford them if you spray painted your shins the same color as your shorts? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you should have just worn, yeah, like Maybe. socks the same color, pulled them up, and then just spray painted your knees. <laughs> there is some uh, body paint stuff I've seen that it's like very tough to tell. Like it's very artistic. Ah, that's what that kid in the Hunger Games does, right? That's how he stays alive. <laughs> yeah, that's how he. It's like the Hunger. <laughs> I'm just at your wedding, going, pointing at my legs, going, "It's like the Hunger Games." <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing. Stealth pants. Oh, my God. I've heard something from uh, Meg recently. Mm. She likes Eric more now because Ooh. apparently his TikTok etiquette is so good. I have been sharing stuff that comes up on my For You page with Meg, and she has just been saying, what is your, what is this? What are you doing? But then also, when people send me videos, I watch them and then I, I'll comment on them or give them a thumbs up. Well, I can't say that for everyone, even in this podcast, when they're sent TikToks that they 
watch them no. or have something to okay. say or like them. Okay, listen. I feel like that's maybe intended at me. Is that right? Uh, in some degree. And, and I think it's completely and totally valid. Uh, I, you're 100% right. But here's the thing. Anytime I see a TikTok that I think, oh, I'm going to send that to Eric, uh -huh. I look down and it says <laughs> Eric Bedore reposted. Well, yeah. And so I realize you've already seen it. So then I think like anything I think to send him, he will have already seen. And I'm already seeing what he's sending me <laughs> anyway. But I send you stuff and you don't do anything to I'm it. I'm just so bad about <laughs> that. You man. are. You that, are. It's true. I only look at I only look at Emily's and that's only because when we get in bed at night, she goes, let me see the TikToks I sent you. And then she like <laughs> snuggles against me. And then I watch we watch the TikToks she sent me together. And that's the only time I ever go into that inbox area or whatever to look at other people. I mean oh, to. So I endeavor to. Them. I'm just bad at it. It's a it's a failure on me because I suck. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Jeff. We also know it's the fine. dog's name. It's a whole thing. Yeah, dog's right. name's I, Albert. Yeah. Oh, I, I will say. Sent me a TikTok. Oh, uh, are you on TikTok? No. <laughs> <laughs> why I would I send you? Why would I send you a TikTok if you're not on TikTok? Well, some people text me TikToks. Oh, I, send yeah, I don't want to. I'm not going to be. I'm not that guy. I'm not going to try to send you stuff for an app you don't use. That's that's not. I don't like that. I don't like doing that. I don't like when people do it to me. Um, uh, okay. I I will say after Jeff told us the dog's name, I texted Emily, and I said <laughs> Jeff said Jeff just said the dog's name on the podcast. Unreal. She replied, oh, I, wanna... I fucking ran from the guest room to try and stop him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, I really just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like you said, Albert. And I was like, wait, do I know Albert? Is Albert out? And then you kept saying it. And yeah, I just I had just to stop you. It. Yeah, I had to. I'm glad you did. I didn't even realize I had done it. I was so deep in the story <laughs> you were, you fog. Said it like I was just trying to get it out. I was just trying to get to the part where half my life was on one side of a door and half was on the other. <laughs> and my face was the only thing, you know, keeping them separate. I, it, learning that, it put me in the middle of a detective story because Jeff recommended an Albert Brooks documentary to me that I watched and yeah. I texted him about. And I believe the dog's name was that. At that, I don't remember when that happened. Yeah. But it's yeah. possible there was an overlap with that. And... uh I had no idea. I was saying the dog's name left and right. Had no clue. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I got to say now that, you know, now that we pivoted from Artie to Albert, I actually think he's a, he's an Albert. It makes much more sense to me. It fits his personality. And I like Albert better. So yeah, ultimately, I think, I, I think you guys really helped out. I think I think yeah, he found welcome. his true name and uh, he may he may not have otherwise. So thank you. for that. I will say before we move on completely from TikTok etiquette, I, I haven't vocalized this, Gavin, but I, I agree with Meg completely because Jeff is the first person I interacted with a TikTok. And I didn't know the procedure of like, should you message? Should you react to the TikTok? And Jeff and I were like, yeah, no, we just will never acknowledge each other. We just <laughs> send the thing and assume it will go well. And then I think I sent something to Eric on TikTok and he sent a message reacting to it. I went, oh, what the fuck? What is, <laughs> we can do this? This is so nice. This is a very courteous it's an acknowledgement and also makes you feel good yeah. about sending the thing. Yeah. You know what, Eric? I sent you a TikTok the other day. I sent you A Rod giving batting instructions. My, and that was fascinating. I don't. I don't think you quite comprehend what I'm talking about here. And I even uh, and I and once every <laughs> once in a while you send me a TikTok and I respond to it. And I'll be yeah. Like, cool, every once in a while you do, but go through the <laughs> list and see where you don't. And that's why I don't send them to you. No, you should because one day I'm going to sit down and I'm going to have like 300 amazing no. TikToks to watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not once. snuggle up with Jeff in the bed. And watch <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to snuggle up with you. me and then tell me to load up the TikToks you sent me and then I'll watch them with you. Listen, we've gotten a lot of joy from Eric's TikTok. We wouldn't have gotten Master Rob yeah. in our Let's Play that's Half Life show mm -hmm. if it wasn't I'm, for Eric sending me that TikTok. Yep. Anytime I see a TikTok that says Eric reposted it, I love it. <laughs> it's uh, It's fun. I like TikTok in the way that I liked Vine, where it's just like, well, I guess I'm going to sit down and eat candy for dinner and uh, just really like none of this is none of this means anything, but I'm mm. going to enjoy it for a little while. And that's absolutely uh, it's a lot of fun. Is it similar to the the Instagram story vibe, which is mainly mm. like eight seconds of a song and a picture of a dog smoking a cigarette? <laughs> it's, there, you know, my TikTok reposts are a lot of stuff like that. Let me just look at the stuff. <laughs> That I had recently. A man laying on a floor wearing rubber gloves under a sink getting uh, a football thrown at him. That's a that's a new one. There's one that is, 
I think about 10 seconds, nine seconds long, and it's just a guy punching holes in drywall. That's been a good one. Um, I found new creatures that I've been following uh, called Peruvian Maras. Been kind of reposting them. That's been a good one. Um, you know, just some hot... Oh, a guy who's going to punch his dog, but like as a joke, and the dog makes a screaming noise. Uh, it's like a lot of that stuff. It's fun. I, it's fun. I love the dudes getting hit with footballs. I'm not as crazy about the creatures. But oh, dude. It, I think I think you nailed it, Gavin. It, it, TikTok is essentially ice cream for dinner. Yeah, it is. Hmm. And it's awesome. Yeah. And you can have ice cream for dinner every day of your life if you want because you're a grown-up, and you should. My ice cream <laughs> for dinner right now on TikTok is I found this channel that is just like security or police training, and you have to get tased as part of the process. So it's just people getting tased and not reacting well to it as part of like they have to go through it is great. I get like four of those a day. It's wonderful. It's funny saying that you could just do whatever you want all the time because you're a grown up. I was walking, uh, I was walking to the store the other day, and I walked past a school, and I was just imagining what they were just—they were bored in there, probably in the class. And I just felt uh -huh. really lucky to be yeah. free and outside mm -hmm. of the school. And then I thought about all the stress and responsibilities of <laughs> being a grown up, an actual grown up. And then I was like, ah, oh, school was pretty cool actually. <laughs> yeah, that was for me. My example of that is when I was like. 12 maybe 11 or 12 i wanted an airsoft gun so bad but my my mom wouldn't let me get one and you had to be 18 to be able to legally buy one yourself uh in canada and so i was like fuck if i could just accelerate time so i could get myself a cool ass airsoft pistol that would be incredible what a great thing and now i've gone back and i've reflected on it i got a bb gun eventually i used it for a day and then never used it again and also <laughs> like the idea of trading off the ability to live tax free like I it's I pay taxes now I have bills it is not a fair trade to go forward in time <laughs> to gain the right to buy an airsoft pistol you know in what, exchange though? for any base responsibility as an adult the, pro the problem with that airsoft pistol analogy though is that like what could have really happened there is you missed a window in time when you could have really like endeared yourself into airsoft and could have like it, it could have hit you at the right time in your life where you could have become incredibly talented at it and become like an airsoft pro and then gotten into shooting and then suddenly you're you because you're in canada and you're shooting out all the time outside you get into cold weather and then you get skis and then you're one of those dudes at the olympics that shoot shit on skis and you have a gold medal <laughs> and you didn't get any of that no. because you didn't no, get no, to no, pick no. up a fucking no, no. A, a bb gun until too late after the window had closed no I'll tell you what happened, Jeff. I got a BB gun and I committed a crime with it the day I got it and then oh. had to hide evidence. So oh, that, yeah. was, that was the end. <laughs> that happened. That too. was the end. And then it broke. <laughs> <laughs> I remember wanting to accelerate time so I could be 15 so I could rent South Park from Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Hell yeah. I think when I turned 15, I didn't even think about doing that. Just never did. <laughs> I remember did wanting you? to be 18 so that I could rent adult videos. Oh. I don't know if I ever told this story, but I wanted to rent pornos from the video store uh, so I could watch porn, you know, at 18. <laughs> and, uh, and then when <laughs> I finally turned 18, the reason. When, I, when I finally turned 18, I went to the video store and I was too scared because it was the video store my parents went to. So I signed up for a video store on the other side of town and I would drive like 20 <laughs> minutes to go to it. And then I would have to sit in the parking lot and build up enough courage to go in and then look a person in the face and hand them a dirty, like hand them Edward penis hands or whatever, and then leave it. And I would have to psych myself up so much to do it. And I remember sitting in that car thinking, it's fucking terrifying being a grown up. Like, sure, you can do all this stuff now, but has anybody tried to do all this stuff? It's fucking hard and scary. The, the idea of you at the counter be like, did I need to watch Cum Sluts 1 through 6 to <laughs> yeah. understand what I'm getting here? Or <laughs> Just feeling like I'm doing something. Like, I'm, I, I, they should, like, even though you're 18, you're like, I'm not old enough to do this. They shouldn't let me. They're going to call my parents. <laughs> like, I have a fucking driver's license I'm handing them. And they couldn't give a fuck. And you're like, oh, they're judging me. They think I'm a loser. They think I'm fucking lame. <laughs> oh, it sucks. It sucks being no, a No, I get it. Yeah. Anxiety. It's also awesome because you get to eat ice cream for, for fucking dinner and then cry yourself to sleep. There you go. Uh, <laughs> we, we need to end this episode. This was episode 195, so get oh. excited because next week's episode is 196, the greatest episode of this podcast. Are you guys feeling time. prepared yeah. for it? I'm ready. I could be more ready. Yeah, I'm going to get ready. I mean, you guys are so it's like 
just Whoa. being. Oh, there. are we? Oh, are we telling people what we're doing? Is that the plan? No. <laughs> what? Just I thought we did already. I'm sorry. Bleep. That was that. That was my Albert moment. I apologize. <laughs> 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 Era of dumb. We got to wrap this up because I'm going to keep saying stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole other story I want to go into. So I'll save it for episode 196. Uh, let's just say I've fallen in love with a new kind of trucks. I'm very excited about it. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right. Well, fucking let's start. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. Boy, we really appreciate it. Uh, your ears and you pointing them at us for this period of time every week. If you like the podcast, tell a friend or a coworker or a family member about it. Uh, if they don't want to listen to it, sit them down and stand over them and make them. They, can't, they won't say no. They'll, if you're intimidating enough, they will listen to it. And, uh, and then also, as always, check out our supplemental content. And uh, if you feel the need to buy any dumb merch, uh, there's probably a store somewhere where you can buy our shit. We'll uh, we'll see you next week for the gr- the greatest episode of the F- Face Podcast ever to this point. Hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of F- Face. Next week's episode is the funniest ever episode of F- Face, and because of that, the gang hasn't recorded. So I'm gonna predict what we have in store. Jeff gets a tooth removed during the podcast. Gavin lets everyone know that he took a driving test and passed. Andrew regains his burger confidence. Nick reveals that he's been wearing the mask the whole time. Gracie takes a stab at becoming a desk engineer. Eric gets his dream, and the podcast ends on time. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. But if he ever was going to, this would be the day. But he probably won't. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. Face.